Greetings everyone and welcome to yet another SD Gaming video and this time we're going to take a quick peek at The Untouchables published by Ocean Software in 1989 and it's of course based on the film where what's his face Kevin Costner yeah that's his name and I remember seeing the movie back in the day in the cinema and quite liked it but never played the game and this game's got two different ads. Uh, an early one that is by Bob Wakelin, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a bit of a photo montage with some artwork by Wakelin, I believe. Looks really nice, I like it. And then there's a second ad that's just using promotional material for the film. Not sure why they uh, choose to have two different ads. Maybe they felt that the first one wasn't connecting with the film enough. Maybe they felt they wanted something with Kevin Costner, just so people would understand that the uh, game was indeed connected to the movie. And this could also be why the second ad is uh, pretty boring. Just a lot of text and, uh, you know, bits and pieces from the uh, movie poster. Pretty damn dull. <laughs> I prefer the first one. But I'm pretty sure this one was cheaper to make, so uh, yeah. Anyway, let's dive into the game. And uh, pretty nice looking uh, loading screen. I think it's a mix between uh, digitized and uh, hand retouched. And the music is, I think, Scott Joplin or something. Like, you know, the roaring 30s and all that. So, uh, hmm, a little bit annoying, but not necessarily bad. <laughs> so let's just press fire and go into the warehouse. been playing this game a little bit and it's a little bit weird how it controls I mean maybe not controls as such but you have to press up to climb up these ladders or oh, not ladders sorry it's crates there is a difference but the weird thing is that it doesn't always work for instance I can't climb up here I can't climb up here and I can't jump from one crate to the other because that would just be way too easy. And I can't climb up. Oh, I can climb up there. It just seems like they may have been in a bit of a rush when they uh, made the collision boxes. And I can't jump on top of crates. That's just that just won't do. And I can't crouch, which is a bit annoying because sometimes I want to do that. And instead of crouching, I just fall down. So yeah it controls a little bit weirdly but you do get used to it so i'm just gonna i think i'm gonna restart and you can see the the enemies are dropping ammunition and possibly help i'm not entirely sure i have failed well not really i kind of did that intentionally you see <laughs> I've got this kind of nice game over screen. Ness dies in shock, gangland massacre because he botched the controls and talked too much, <laughs> apparently. So let's do this for realsies this time. And sometimes he decides to jump instead of actually climbing up. And yes, yeah, and again, I don't know why. Why do I fall down there? Yeah, I just fall down there. Must have been a bit of a problem when they made the game and I'm not and I can't go up why yeah it's it's definitely clunky it's not terrible but it could have been better for sure these and please climb onto the stupid crate Nessie or whatever your name is and then he just falls down I don't know why it is a little bit wonky but hey I'm cool with it and all of a sudden everything goes quiet. I'm not sure why there's no one here trying to murder me. And I think we need to find evidence. So we need to go to where the arrow is pointing and I presume picking something up. Let's go down here. And now I need to go this. Oh, it's something over here. I don't know how you achieve this. Is this evidence? No, that's ammunition, I think. Uh, there's something over there. Let's go grab that. Maybe it's energy. Yeah. No, that's evidence. Yes, of course it is. Yes. More evidence. No, that was health. God, the the manual said don't hang around, and I fully understand that. Don't do that because you will get annihilated very quickly. I presume I need to shoot an enemy, right? That carries evidence. It's so damn hard not to take damage in this game. It really is. And you can never get out of the way. This guy, you see? No, 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 don't. Oh, you filthy person. Oh, God. And then I just 
climb. Jesus, climb up. No. Oh, look at the sneaky bugger. And I'm shooting you in the back, sir. Please freaking die. Get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> so we've got 20% evidence. Let's go and grab the rest. Oh, there's this guy. He's got a shotgun, I think. That's terrifying. Look at him. Climb. Please, climb. Why are you not... Mm. <laughs> and then he just buggers off. And falls down. He's a really annoying little shit. And you can't jump and fire at the same time because that would be way too easy. And get up! Oh, God. I'm a get up. Why are you falling down? Yeah, this is pretty annoying, I must admit. Thankfully, these enemies do drop a lot of ammo and stuff, so I think they kind of knew that the controls may not have been the greatest and that they needed kind of to give some extra stuff to the player so the game wouldn't be too stupidly hard. Ah. Oh. Gotcha. Give me... Give me that, whatever it is. Probably not going to be super easy getting this done, but I'm going to try. And now he's up there. What the hell? And now he's down again. You jump a little shit. Please climb up. Oh my goodness. Get up, get up, get up. God. Okay, got it. And then it's game over. Yeah, it's a little bit too tricky, I think. And really not that much fun because you need to pick up 10 of these. Maybe it gets easier if you play it for a bit, but yeah, I find it a little bit frustrating. I did find some cheat codes, so let's check out the second stage, shall we? About to hit the bridge. And the bridge is about to hit me, I think. And this is a little bit weird as well. We're kind of rolling around on the ground here. Doing a bit of a kind of a cabal Operation Wolf thing. It's a little bit frustrating here too because weirdly you can only fire in front of you. Which is honestly a little bit weird. You have to roll constantly. And yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe not the best of choices. So you constantly realize that you can't reach certain enemies because they're just out of your reach. But this bit scrolls, so it's a little bit Operation Wolfie, kind of, I suppose. Don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe I need to shoot that bottle and I fail. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Oh, I need to collect liquor, of course, by shooting it, not drinking it, which would make more sense, I guess. Hope I can get some health somehow. Please roll that way, Nessie. Collected eight bottles already? That was quick. I don't know if they will appear over here as well or if I just need to go to the right. Ah, don't throw alcohol in my face. That's a waste, isn't it? It seems like I still get hit even though I'm rolling. I was hoping for maybe some iframes, but not so much. Seriously, guys, I am shooting you, so why don't you just do me the huge favor of just dying? And, oh, that's so annoying. I'm just out of reach there. Where's my alcohol? God damn it. Oh, yeah, it's... It's really quite annoying. I mean, looks nice. Sounds pretty good, too, and not pretty decent, if a bit annoying music, but it's just the gameplay. It's, it's a bit too tricky. But maybe I'm just being a little bit too impatient here. Let's try and uh, not give up just yet. Let's go this way and see if we can find some alcohol. No, we can't. It seems to be random where these things show up. Oh, there's health over there, please. Roll over here, sir. Oh, really? I hit that stupid mm, box. <laughs> Now, the detection is a little bit wonky at times, I must admit. Clearly hit some of the guys here and they don't really care too much about it. Alright, I've had enough of booze. Could you just give me some health, please? 
Oh, here we are. Ah, need to roll a little bit to the right. Ah, it's so annoying, they're just out of reach, these guys. How much boost do I need? Jesus. Ah, can we just settle this with some bribes instead? That would be much more fun. Collect the bribes, not the bullets. Getting a little bit better at, at the game now, but I keep missing, which is infuriating. <laughs> 24 bottles of rum on the wall. Uh, how many bottles are left if I shoot this one? Uh. Look, I'm gonna, I know you're gonna show up, you filthy bottle tosser, but I really would have preferred if they would have made this with a crosshair, like a standard Operation Wolf thing. This is getting pretty tiresome just rolling around here looking for my med kits oh come on hit the damn thing <laughs> and that weird little camera thing down to the right i'm not really sure why i need that looks nice don't get me wrong but no don't sh don't chuck that stuff at me but i mean but the graphics looks really rather nice don't they the sound effects aren't too bad either actually oh come on get that thing oh the nick of time please die oh my god <laughs> well at least I'm getting better at the game here or at least this particular section but it's still way too lengthy this gets pretty boring I mean it's not terrible it's decent but way too long stages and rolling back again. My god, my back's going to be killing me way before these guys do. I hate all of you so much. Ah, I'm going to see if I can do the next level. But it didn't work before. Because you pause the game and then you enter a code on the keyboard. And uh supposed to be able to skip levels. But the remaining three codes won't work. I'm not sure why. Oh, the moment I try and get the bottle up there, that filthy dude in a hat chucks alcohol in my face. Yeah, I bet I'm going to have to get the counter up to 100. Bit of a pain, but I'm going to do it because I want to know what happens on the next stage. Ah, oh, out of time, of course. So let's see if we can maybe get this done in 23 seconds. I'm going to guess no. Ah, damn it. Don't think I have enough time to get this done unless I get really lucky. Like having the bottles appear just right, like next to me all the time. Which I don't think is going to be happening. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits and have a look at a couple of reviews before we end. Ace gave the SD version 860 mystery points and they wrote, The audiovisual element in The Untouchables is extremely polished, as we have come to expect from Ocean. It is a shame that the gameplay is a little difficult, especially in the earlier sections, as this prevents the game from being quite as accessible as it might have been to the average game player. Nevertheless, that is a minor quibble against what is otherwise a superior game. Yeah, I agree with the difficulty. Had they just made it a little bit more easy to get into, this would have been uh, much more interesting. But who knows, maybe back in the day I would have played it a bit more and uh, maybe it's possible to get somewhere. I, I don't know. SD Format gave the game an overall of 81% and Mark Hyam wrote, what is original in The Untouchables is the variety of levels you move through. Each is so different from the last that you're encouraged to try your best in progress to the next one. Most of the levels are fun to play, particularly the opening one. Sadly, there's not a lot of depth to some levels, which quickly increases the boredom factor. This is particularly apparent in the alley and rooftop scenes, where the only objective is to line up your sights on the enemy and blast away. Not a particularly mind-boggling experience. The Untouchables is very addictive. Looks like Ocean might be on the right track at last. 
So a slightly lower score from SD Foreman, and I'm sure Hayam has a point about the levels not being terribly exciting and you kind of grow tired of them. I can see that happen, especially with the ones I played. But definitely not a bad game. I would probably have played this a fair amount just to try and get to that next stage and find out what it's all about. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick peek at the Untouchables. Thanks for watching and all that stuff. And as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers.